Welcome back, everybody, to TXP as we're re gearing up for our last match on the main stage, at least for the stream. And I'm jumping on from the start, and I'm going to be finishing out the cast here. My name is Seymour. Alongside me is Theo. And Theo, I mean, you were on earlier. You're yeah. having fun here at TXP. Of How course. you been enjoying the event? Yeah, I mean, it's been a great event so far. You know, some technical difficulties, but, you know, I got to speak to a lot of the players, a lot of the teams. Fun to watch a lot of yeah. teams that maybe aren't well known by everybody. They come here, they show out, and they have a chance to really... Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see if uh, one of these teams can prove themselves from what we're going to be seeing on stage. It's uh, Saints Green versus Day by Day to close out the stream. And this is a fun one because I was talking to one of the players on stream for Day by Day. It's uh, Ace Limbs, and he's excited for it. It's a rematch versus KB and Saints Green. This is a team we haven't seen on stream yet, yeah. but everybody's expecting to kind of pop off and take the win for uh, TXP4. It's Kudi, Seawads, Ruper, and KB. This is a team that everybody should fear at the event. And Absolutely. I think for day by day, this would be probably one of the best tests they have for day one yeah absolutely i mean the fact that two of these teams haven't lost a map so far in the tournament they get to face off early on uh, go against one another i mean it's going to be a big test for both teams and as you said day by day i mean this is their biggest uh things biggest danger so far and they have to really play their best here but also, if they can get some confidence, win a couple maps off the Saints green team, I mean, they could put them on pace for a good tournament. They could. And, you know, being in pace for day number two, this is to top out your group yeah. for both of them. They've been flawless throughout the day. And, I mean, they've only had a couple more teams in their groups. I think it's each of them have played through Aspire, both come out with wins, and now matching up against each other. This is to win out your group and then go into day two on top with that top seed. So for day by day, if they can take down Saints green, not only is that going to be a head turner for every other team but for Saints Green in general I'm sure that's going to be quite disappointing for everybody who's been pointing at this team to be the best at TXP4 but for Theo for the maps that we're going to be looking at for today for the best of five it's starting off with a skyline hard point we got ourselves a rewind search and destroy red card control vault hard point for map four and a skyline for a map number five so it's a fun one we've kind of been learning these maps is yeah. there any that kind of stands out to you that you're excited to see again I mean I know the Saints Green roster pretty well and they love these fast action maps like skyline they like a lot of gunfights there's respawn game modes is really where they shine so I'm sure they're going to be very happy with the set of maps they have for today so i'm definitely expecting them to get off to a hot start on skyline yeah you and me both and i was kind of talking to kb just asking him you know what's going on with the team after the kickoff i'm sure you're feeling good after that second place back in columbus but kb was telling me that you know this team is looking to ban out some maps versus day by day that they don't normally ban out you know, play new maps to kind of see if they can expand their map pool heading in towards day two it's a big learning curve for a couple of teams because this game is still relatively new for yeah. a lot of these players so if you can expand your map pool if you can kind of have that head start going into day two and have some kind of advantage that's going to be a huge win for saints yeah absolutely and you know the one thing about this saints green over the, i've been here at st Clair for a while over the years i've seen them play their one maybe weaker point is search and destroy they kind of tend to really play well on the respawn game was when search and destroy they tend to slow down so against a very strong team that's been playing very well I think for Saints this is a great test early on in the tournament no I agree and I think day by day is going to struggle in this matchup first off but at the same time I think it, the struggle is welcome for a team that's looking to improve Absolutely. and I mean you look at the map set it was uh, Kill Rook doing the vetoes for the side of day by day and he was uh, picking out for the skyline map number one it's where day by day wants to go the skyline map number five it's also their map of choice sure so they they can prolong this all the way into a map number five they're setting themselves up for victory obviously in maps that you know they want to play themselves yeah. but uh it's kind of getting there is going to be the hard part yeah. for this day by day team and i don't doubt that they can do it it's possible but it is going to be tough and i think for day by day they really got to step up in every sort of fashion to make this happen so i'm really excited to see how they step up in the search and destroy i know a lot of these players in call of duty from the latam scene they usually do excel in Search and Destroy, first and foremost, over the respawns. And for this new Saints Green roster, where majority of it is from a Latin American-based team, yeah. it's going to be probably their bread and butter heading into those map twos and map fives. I mean, I would be absolutely amazed if that is their bread and butter. I mean, I've seen over the years. Hopefully, they really pick it up on Search and Destroy. It would be, it'll be really fun to watch. But as, as, as again, you said, it's going to be... Uh, their toughest task is so far, but you know, 
we have a bit of time before the game. What, let's take some quick predictions, maybe. Why not? What do you th how do you see the series oh, man. going? It's green behind me. It's green <laughs> behind you, too. It's green behind us. And, uh, yeah, we got a green screen right behind us, <laughs> but uh, you guys can't see that. But uh, I, I got to go with Saints green. I, you, it's, just, it's hard to bet against this team right now. There's a reason why everybody's looking at the squad to be the best here at TXP4, and it's, it's because they have such a long career behind them. I mean, Ruper from Challengers. Yeah. I, in the past, I mean, he's made it to Grand Finals in Challengers Opens. Uh, he's made it to Grand Finals in the Challengers uh, League in general, and you know he's a strong player. Same thing with KB. He shows up to the scene last year, and he really skyrockets to the top of some these rosters, trialing with potential CDL teams, trialing with top challengers rosters. KB was on the map for Call of Duty, and you know you add Cootie to the mix and C Watts as well, two very strong Latin American players. This is a team that is rounded out to be one of the best in collegiate. Yeah. This is a team that is going to be one of the best here at TXP4 as well. What about you? Yeah, without doubt, I have to be on the same page. Saints definitely the favorites, and I'm going to be going with the green team for today. I mean, it would be nice to see. Uh, Nice dominant game for them, but I'm definitely expecting a bit of a challenge from their opponents. I'm not expecting it to be just a cakewalk, but if it was a pretty dominant victory, it wouldn't surprise me. No, and I was kind of asked, you know, what do I think that this is going to be? I'd say that this is probably, I'd say a 3-1. If yes, anything, from day by that. day, I don't think day by day is just going to fall over and yeah. let this team win. I mean, this is probably Saints Green's one of their toughest tasks throughout the pool play. I think everybody's been anticipating Saints Green versus day by day. You look at Reddit, you look at Kobe, um, A Slims, and Kil uh, Kilrook, all four members of this day by day team who showed up at TXP3 and really showed out. People yeah. were impressed with them. So I think for Saints Green, yes, we have them as favorites. But it's not going to surprise me if they do struggle a little bit versus the day-by-day -day team. Yeah, I mean, our Saints, the, uh, the Saints are going to be very, very confident. And, you know, that could come back to bite them. But they are a team that really thrives off of their confidence. If they get off to a hot start, they're a team that really is hard to slow down. So it's definitely going to be uh, on their opponents to kind of Start off hard to not let the Saints really get the ball rolling because when they do, they're a tough team to slow down. Yeah, we're, we're just waiting to get this match underway, folks. I, I promise we're trying to get this one going <laughs> as fast as possible. You look at the guys behind us, at least on stage. I see, uh, I see Zarin there. Zarin's probably there. behind. He's behind the whole team. He's uh, the the brains of the operation Absolutely. there for this uh, Saints Green team. But the admins are working to get them in. Uh, as quick as possible. I I'm waiting to see them get into this <laughs> as quick as possible. And for the map set in general, to start off with the Skyline, we actually, uh, I, I got to cast the Skyline for a map number one last time I was here on the mm -hmm. desk. And uh, I I'm a big fan of this map, you know, uh, for past Call of Duties. It kind of reminds me of uh, a typical Bocage, you know, maybe even just... Uh, I don't even know. It's very scrappy. It's yeah. very mixy. And for a team like Day by Day, they can take advantage of that versus the Saints team. If you come out hot, if you come out you know, guns blazing, this is your moment to kind of try to flip these spawns, make it chaotic, make it unpredictable for this versus the Saints and see if you can you know, step up in that slaying power because I think that's one thing for Skyline that is going to be big for teams. If they can outslay their opponents, it makes it of course easier, easier to yeah. get that objective time but it really makes it tough to bounce back on a map like skyline when you're always trying to fight off the respawns yeah i mean from what you've seen today say so you cast this skyline what are you expecting from these lineups are you see, expecting maybe a double smg double ar setup is our smgs more prominent in such a fast-paced map or do you think ars are going to be the king here i mean for black ops 6 in general i think that it's majority in AR game yeah. and we've seen that so far so you expect that most hills are going to have a triple AR setup I, yeah. I would expect you know maybe somebody in that triple AR to run the GPR mm -hmm. uh, it's more of a flex AR in my opinion you see that Amos is going to be the standard AR that yeah. most of the back line is going to be running and the Jackal player is just going to look to go rogue that SMG just wants to run yeah. and wants to fry and nothing else in this game and I, I think for Skyline in general yes you can see the double SMG setup for sure but when that second smg wants to bring out the gpr wants to bring out that third ar i imagine it will come out with how powerful they are in bo6 yeah i mean i must agree with you the ars have definitely been the strong suit here and you know on this map there's a lot of sight lines that ar can just set up and hold down so the smgs as you said just the one one roamer is going to be probably the strong suit here i mean there could be some wacky tactics pulled out here i don't think we're going to see anything too much i mean 
Saints gonna try and keep it high paced, you know, always trying to flip the spawns like they do in the hard point and take control. What do you think is gonna be the key to victory for them here in this map one? For Saints, um, I think it's just composure, really, for this team. They're strong. They have uh, a very, you know, smart play style when it comes to Call of Duty. You know this is a team that will get mixy. Like you said, once they get hot, it's really hard to stop yeah. them. But you don't want them to get ahead of themselves. I think for something like... Oh, I'm disappearing on stream. <laughs> I don't know what's good. going on right now. <laughs> but I think for, uh, for something like uh, for Saints Green, you're kind of looking at them to really keep that composure yes you're looking to be the best team here but you don't want to have that over confidence that Absolutely. kind of sets you apart from them because that's where day by day is going to weed through and got to beat you in those moments you, you want to stay composed play your best cod keep your head on your shoulders and if you're testing out new maps banning out new maps as well this is where you want to take it serious and actually make sure that you're adding these uh adding these maps to your arsenal properly yeah, I mean, I must agree with you there. You know, let's dive a bit deeper into our map pool here. Map three, we're going to have a control. That's kind of, we see that game mode only once per series. What do you think has kind of been the keys from what you've seen today to how teams have been approaching this game mode? And that's interesting because, um, you know, we haven't seen control at all ever until this tournament. Yeah. So with Black Ops 6 coming out, everybody's been playing Search and Destroy and Hard Points. Mm -hmm. And for control, it was... I'd say a little controversial that Jammer brought it into the mix for uh, for TXP4, but I'm glad to see it. I mean, we had to see it at some points, mm -hmm. and for red card control in general, this is a very uh, high-low map. There's a lot of power positions for the ARs to really take control. It's bigger than, you know, your traditional Skylines or your uh, Vorkutas, and I think that that's going to be a field day for your assault rifle players to really set up for those control zones. I do expect the defense to reign true. It's one of those maps where you kind of see it would be difficult for your SMG players to make plays on it, especially considering they're running out into the open for majority of these points. Yeah. But if you can have that you know, proper AR setup on the offensive side, if you can push them back off the respawn, if you get a clean four down, it flips the agenda there, and then you're set up in those power positions. So for red card and control, it's just kind of making sure you're playing towards the traditions of control, uh, like we've seen in past years. ARs are going to be strong. Yep. SMGs need to run routes, and you're looking for those power positions to make it easier for the player on the objective to actually soak that objective. Yeah, and from what I've seen so far in control, I mean, there's always one point that's really hard to attack. Defense have all the close spawns, and then there's one point that's further away. I've seen a couple teams try and instantly push towards that harder point to attack, try and get a four on two advantage there, clean it out and capture that one first. I mean, it's a very risky play because if it doesn't work out, you have to restart from the beginning. Yeah. Do you think we're going to see any of that in this series at all well you're seeing it back in the series that i was casting too as soon as you get four down if there is even a semblance of that zone not captured you need to neutralize it as fast as possible i mean yes you want to push forward but you let your smgs fly you let those guys push forward yeah. you as an ar you're going to neutralize that zone and then you look for where you need to be after that i think that for you know without a doubt in my mind you're going to be looking to make sure you're actually keeping those objectives in your favor rather than theirs it's just kind of making sure you're gauging is it the right moment to do that or do we just need to set up on these angles and kind of wait things out because i do see teams quite often they do jump the gun mm -hmm. you get aggressive it comes back to bite you so it's really tough to just say like you need to do this and you need to do that very situational but um it really is just going to be a test of time with how new this game mode is especially with yeah. these teams not scrimming control um heading into this tournament it's uh it's going to be one that i'm eager to see for sure but with us seeing to take some time getting into this game i think it's a perfect time for you and i to step away from the desk for a second we're going to throw things to a break while we get ready for this game number one we'll be back with that skyline hard point as quick as possible folks
I told you it wasn't going to take too long to get back into this. Star, uh, Skyline, Hardpoint, St. Clair Green on the right, Day by Day on the left. And you can see a couple of these names are going to be different. And for Day by Day, you see that Reddit is actually going to be under the name of Pele. Kobe going to be playing under White Widow. Kill Rook's on his. Ace Limb's on his. And for Saints Green, Goody obviously playing under Cootie. Ruper playing under Rudy, or <laughs> under Ruper. Luan's going to be uh, C Wads, and Void is going to be KB. So it's going to be a little bit confusing for yeah. you and I here <laughs> on the casting desk, Theo, but it's going to be something I think we can manage. Yeah, if we mess up here and there, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's going to be Saints getting off to a great start here on this first hard point. Going to get this time ticking up, but a nice couple kills come out from day by day. Still, Saints trying to get these last few seconds. It's going to be one player sitting on there, just KB, as now they look to rotate to the next point. And you can see for the next point, they're going to have to break this from day by day. They had the better spawns, and you can see that St. Clair looking to break through, but A Slims shuts them down. Kill Rook looking to tie the knot on this one, see if you can get a quick little flank, and you do. So day by day, they do get the setup, but St. Clair, with it being Skyline, they're not going to be too far from trying to break again. Yeah, I mean, the spawns are definitely in the favor of day by day, but now the Saints looking to break through. Luan going to fall. Rupert and Kudi find a couple kills. Rupert going to find a third. It's going to be the point taken by the Saints here but it's still they're gonna actually flip the spawn so day by day don't have the good spawns here there's gonna be one member left alive in the back here can saints get rid of that one doesn't look like that's gonna be the case nice couple of kills come out from kill Kirk. not gonna be too much as day by day flip the spawns yet again they get full control of this hard points look to get the clock ticking yeah but they are keeping this one to about uh what seems like a 10 point lead heading in towards p3 would have been a great kill to find on that rotation for Kobe, but Void, KB, and Ruper just shutting down these players, trying to exit from this P2 area. So 41 playing 39. It's a three-point game, and Saints already set up over towards P3. You even have Cootie playing over towards the hot yeah. tub. He's just going to try to burn this as long as he can. Yeah, that was a good sight line there. Kudi does fall down, but a couple nice kills from KB come out there. Saints continue to rack up the time here. Day by day, trying to push from all angles, but KB going to find one more. Now on a five spree, close to those kill streaks, looking to get something. Rupert going to find one more. Finally, one does drop for the side of Saints. A couple drop, but nice shot there from Kilkirk. Finds the third, gets onto the side and gains control back to day by day. That's four in a row. Four. White Widow, Kobe, just absolutely shredding through these members, and he keeps it going. 11 and 7, only able to find five in a row before dropping. KB puts three of his own on the board, and he's going to have streaks. 13 and 4 start at a KB here on the skyline, and it's leaving Saints with quite a monumental lead after this P3 is going to be done again day by day. They have the rotations, they have the spawns, so Saints going to have to oh. tread carefully, and in fact, they're just going to invest the streak right now. They want to keep this ball going. Yeah, I mean, trying to get at least one kill with this one to force the spawns into the favor of the Saints. As you can see, all three Saints on the flank coming through, looking to find the kills in the point here. They find one, find the second, find the third. Fl spawns should be flipping in the favor of the Saints. They're going to get on to the hard point as day by day. Going to have a lot of work to get back to this And look at this, KB. Oh, who had the read, but that was in the right spot, but fried by Kobe there with the Jackal. SMG is leading day by day back into this one, but will it be enough for them to break back with this 25 seconds? Seconds, Cootie not able to win that one out day by day, shut down and shut out. So Saints close spawn should net them the rest of this 20 seconds and day by day have to look to set up for P1 yet again. Yeah, after a good first rotation of hard points, Saints going to be up a good amount, over 60 points here. So it's going to be a lot of work needed for day by day to come back to this one. A couple nice kills here coming out for Killer Crook does fall down. It's going to be day by day in control of this first hard point by Rupert. Has a huge flank, is able to find one. Does he know there's one more right to his left? Looks for the shots there. Isn't going to be able to find it, but Saints looking to re retake the point. And with that, Saints not only break hill one, but they also flip these spawns out for day by day this is a stark difference from what we had at the start of the game and that's right alert for day by day fans who are looking for a safe transition over towards p2 a couple of them in the back line now trying to safely stake their claim on these spawns for the second rotation but still a lot of time to play for inside that hard point they haven't yet flipped out the saints you can see saint Clair still spawning on that better side the left side of the mini map but with 16 seconds left they don't even need to contest for this time they already have themselves a big lead yeah i mean 
KB and Kudi both getting triple kills at some point on that point definitely helped them out as it's going to be Saints in control of the next hard point here. But nice kills coming up from Day by Day. They get three as they look to rotate over Saints. Get the bad spawns. So the spawns are flipped for Day by Day. If they want to come back into this map, this is going to be the hard point to do it on as Saints need to break back quickly. That's exactly the right call to make. Kill Rook going to track down KB. It's two kills for Day by Day. And now they're looking to... Lock this time in P2. The office is under their control, and you can see that St. Clair is being very cautious on the retake. They're waiting for those players off the respawn to group up, and when they hit this one together, it's going to be a swift three down for day by day and a clean break. It's a four, four to one trade. Yeah, and you see day by day spawning all all the way across the map. Not going to be able to come back really quickly to contest this one. It's going to be only Kudi sitting on this side as the rest of the Saints support him. Rupert finds a big kill on the flank to stop anything else from coming through. And another kill comes out for the Saints as they're going to get the scrap time and put themselves above 160 points. Over to B3. This is a big fight for day by day. Ace Slim's Jackal in hand. Not a great start to this map, but this is a fantastic area where you can turn things around. You're seeing the aggression from day by day, but for St. Clair again, it is this long wrap from Cootie through the underground. The way to drop down from up top, and Kobe just rips Seawads a new one. A Slims doubles this, uh, the kills here for the side of day by day, but is it going to be enough yet again? Rupert not able to get in. The trades keep on flowing back and forth, not able to break on through for the same just yet still day by day getting the time great job by day by day holding on to this hard point get as many points as possible but now saints have numbers they look to take this one over kudi with a double kill there saints will have control of this one day by day pretty far away shouldn't be able to contest these last few seconds nice shot there by kb to get a stagger 30 and 9 on this map having an amazing yeah. performance so far these last 10 seconds should be going over to the side of saint Clair. As you can see the rotations coming through but that's a big couple kills picked up still Kudi is here on the flank finding one almost finds a second gets taken down as it looks like day by day will have good spawns for this next hard point as they look to come back into the map yeah they will but Saints they've been good for the breaks every single time waiting for everybody to arrive oh, and that's not going to help you day by day find a team nade and that's allowing in the back line Luan and Kudi just to pinch the whole thing out and they roar back into the hard point St. Clair in control and it doesn't seem like like this is going to be enough to net themselves a win on the Skyline Hardpoint, but it is going to get them over that 200-point marker in a moment, and they have full streaks on a couple players. This is not a good look for Day by Day. And you can see Day by Day are doing the same thing. The Saints, they're trying to retake the spawns coming from the back, but Saints winning every gunfight. Going to get the rest of this time as well and put, them very, very, put themselves very, very close to closing out the map. It's going to be at 225 if the Saints get the rest of this. We're going to be going back to hard point number one. You can see day by day trying to set up, but the Saints, as you said, have been breaking through with such ease. It's going to be hard to do, but they do get the start. Saints, though, have a flank coming through. Are they going to be able to find anything with that one? Rupert finds one. The flank is there and it's going to find a second. Now they're going to get onto the hard points. Look to finish the map. KB drops down. There's the break. Saints are in. They have streaks still. The artillery barrage from both Seawads and KB, and this is a great time to call it in. Stuck in the back day by day they're gonna have to cross through the fire and flames just to reach this hill oh. and it just does not seem possible <laughs> kb taking down cody in the meantime but they're just gonna sit soak and cruise their way to a map one hold up kill rook finds his way in a rogue spawn and that's gonna make this one difficult for saints for a moment but it's not going to stop the outcome. St. Clair Green coming out on the Skyline Hardpoint and dominating map number one. And as advertised, the Saints win by 100. Very, very strong map here. KB, definitely the standout play for the Saints here. 31-4. and four. That's a great, great start for the Saints. And, you know, we said if they start off hot, they will keep on running away with it. That's exactly what we saw on this map. Now they need to kind of refocus themselves focus on the next game mode which is going to be searching the Man, you gotta think for day by day just how heartbreaking that is yeah. to lose that map number one countless times they were the first to the hill they had those setups it's just you look at St. Clair and how patient they are on the retakes you see the trust from them in the communication they don't want to rush it they play together they drop together and they break the hill in 10 to 20 seconds of the hard point opening up so 
it's day by day making the standard protocol plays in a hard point like Skyline, but with it being very difficult to actually spread the map and you know set up on those power positions, St. Clair were just running routes, getting in the right place at the right time, and dropping together, breaking those hills together. It was just a very strong showing from the Saints, and I don't think day by day we're really ready for that in the hard point. I mean, they tried. They, As you said, they had a right game plan. They had it all planned out, but Saints just outsmarted them a little bit, and winning individual gunfights is a big part of that. Every time the Saints were trying to flip spawns, they were successful immediately. You would see day by day, try and do the exact same thing, but it just wouldn't work out for them. So Saints just drew up their retakes. As you said, they played it very slowly when they needed to. They took their time. They set up their flank. They hit from both angles, and then they were just able to retake every site with relative ease. And that's going to transition into the Search and Destroy. You were yeah. kind of talking about it. Saints in the past, they've had their woes in Search and Destroy for sure. But yeah. with this team, Saints Green, I mean, you don't expect this team to falter in Map 2s or really Map 5s in that same sentence. We're going into Rewind Search and Destroy up next. Uh, this is a map that I got to see earlier. Definitely going to be looking towards a lot of plants towards A early. Mm -hmm. Those early engagements hopefully will lead to that bomb going down at a but if the defensive team can you know match that with aggression trade that out or at least hold back and delay can look to force the team over towards b for for a late bomb plant it's not impossible to win on defense it's hard to stop that a attack but uh here for day by day it's kind of a, a need it's necessary to see this team really step up here in map two would you expect something maybe like a four stack full commit on that a side because you're saying it's so hard to defend would that really surprise you if we saw that as we're going right into game two as we are underway it's going to be saints on the attack and day by day on the defense it, it would surprise me to see that four hit onto a right Right away you kind of hope that st Clair will spread the map a little bit more you may see a couple players jump in like we see just now but you don't expect them to just throw full force killer has got the sniper out i'm pretty sure this Those got ga loud. today <laughs> yeah but i'll let you cook here i i, I want to see some sniper gameplay before this thing's gone for the rest of the year but in a one versus three I don't know, Killer Rook. This is going to be something impressive if we do get to see this for sure. St. Clair, uh, they do take this first round by elimination. Yeah. And they do it off that aggression that we were saying over towards the A site. Not everybody pushes in all at once, but they do hit it together from Generator Door as well as DVD Door. And that kind of leaves day by day trying to guess where that hit's going to come from. Yeah, I mean, a great round from the Saints. They take that one with Road Thieves. And I was I was talking to KB right before this game. I was like, KB, are we going to see a sniper on the search and destroy? He said, no, it's not allowed. We're not going to see any snipers. But here we are, and we're going to be playing through it. Now it's going to be day by day on the attack, looking to find something, probably going to attack the A-side as well. They're going to go full around into generators. You're leaving Killrook, or sorry, Pele now. Watching over towards the street side. You have a flank coming up from the Saints. Nobody's going to be watching Cootie. And he's in behind already. Cootie's going to find one of the members. It's Killrook already. And Jenny's down. A site's open. But you've lost a member. You have to play in reaction to that. And I like that. They get aggressive. They take down Seawads. They force some respect out of St. Clair. Yeah, and they're looking to get the plan down. Cootie going to get the taken timing. down. Great timing there. But the trade comes through. There's one. There's going to be one more around this corner. KB has to be careful. Takes the swing against Pele. There's one on one situation now. KB hiding around these corners. Going to get taken down. Nice round win from day by day as they win by elimination. It is because as soon as Cootie makes that play on the aggression, it forces the hand of day by day. And instead of sitting, trying to go for the bomb plant, maybe force an objective play. They get aggressive into courtyard. They find a player in the corner and they trade it out immediately. It kind of sends Saints in a little bit of shambles. Unfortunately, you get the bad timing over towards the dumpster and it yeah. allows for that numbers advantage over towards day by day. But it just it just shows that day by day are able to react towards the St. Clair with composure. And the fact that they flip that over towards B, they take those engagements and they force St. Clair into a little bit of a chaotic mess. Uh, you see them just walk out on top and fortunately for them, that's going to tie us up. Yeah, Cootie throwing out some utility, looking for a swing here. He's going to be able to find one with the grenade. That's going to be first, but there is a big flank coming out from A Slims. But there is a player back. Ruper is watching that one, but they're not able to find it. They're actually going to plant it down on the other bomb site. It's going to be B planted. Plant is down. The Saints looking to hold on. They look at they're planting for the back alley. So I like that they're forcing over towards the defensive spawn. This is not going to be easy to retake. It's not going to be easy to take those ARs off of the truck. And you know that if you're St. Clair, so you're set up and you're 
you're sitting pretty. Grouper on the long flank. Nobody's going to realize this one. Damage is done. Kilrook still finding a kill there. So you're separated now if you're St. Clair. 21 seconds. Kobe is going absolutely crazy. And now it's all up to Roper. Diffuse is going to be hopped. And Aslim's just watching over the top oh. of it. Roper going for the clutch. Oh. He's going to find it. No chance to sit for the defuse. Rupert pushes the issue and day by day just cannot hold back from one of the Latam's best. Beautiful 1v2 there by Rupert. Switches over to the pistol on the slide. Gets the one on two clutch. He was just sitting in the back waiting for a flank, but when he needed to get on the aggressive and make sure that defuse doesn't come through, he does a great job. Gives Saints a very crucial second round. So for day by day, I mean, they won the offensive their side. So switching back sides, we can see if they can, you know, maybe go tit for tat here, trade out into another one, keep us even at two. But it's not going to be easy here as you see Cootie on the aggression. Kobe's going to match this throughout the doors. Everybody sends his shambles and the kills coming through for the side of day by day. St. Clair, they crumble. And now on the other side, day by day, just like that, the round's over. I mean, day by day, showing a lot of life here very quickly. They eliminate all of the Saints members. Nice final kill here. Spots KB wide in the open. And as you said, on attack, you can play with so much aggression on that A side. Saints were just not ready for that push. And day by day, definitely showing them that they're here to play. They're not going down without a fight as yeah. we're tied up at two apiece. So now for day by day, switching back onto the defense. We have yet to see a defensive sec. Uh, defensive win um, between both of these squads. Where do they find the stop? Where do they match the pressure? And it looks like it's going to be a lot more patient this time. Watching for the push through B. You know trophies are going to be down, so it's going to be a lot easier to maybe delay these nades, delay the attack. And it's met by patience from Saints as well. And I like this from Kilrook. He's playing towards the street, looking for that picking towards blue. This nade should get some information onto a player there. He knows. Yeah, he has to know there's one around this corner. Kuri gonna slide through, is gonna peek out again. Now he knows that Kilrook is here, has some support from the back. The shots are gonna come through, nobody falls down. Everyone's staying alive, but it's a good defensive start for day by day. They're able to slow the Saints down as Saints have a couple more members toward A, but day by day have a couple members towards the top of the map. There is a flank coming out from the side of day by day, and I don't know if Saints are gonna be ready for this one. Is he gonna be able to find that opening pick? Yes, he does. Kilkrook finds one on to KB as Saints look to regroup. The trade does come through, but Kuti falls as well. And there's going to be one more as it makes it a 2v1 situation for day by day. It's going to be a Ruper yet again left alone as a 1v2. Yeah, Ruper, he's just been so patient towards the street, but there's only 20 seconds left. He's against the clock here, and Kilrook, all he really has to do is play that time. Force Ruper into an uncomfortable situation as long as you stay alive. This looks like it's going to be a day by day round. And they get the defensive win, go back to back now and start to gain a little bit of an advantage here on the search. Yeah, they're gonna have a bit of momentum now. Probably they should have an extra round. The Rupert getting that 1v2 definitely keeps the Saints on the scoreboard, but you could definitely feel the momentum shifting towards the side of day by day. They take the win there on the defense. First defensive victory of the map so far. And now they're going to be on the attack, trying to push their lead to 4-2 to two, and really trying to put the Saints in the map ending kill zone. And it looks like they're going to be going for another 8 push from the look of things. Yeah. St. Clair. Pushed in towards a RC car from uh, Kobe. So looks like they're going to invest the streak maybe here. Finding that opening kill. It's going to be around the back. Another one from Kobe just to keep that streak going. He's found three in a row. But with the RCXD, they've actually found their way onto the site. Nobody has spotted in the corner. It's just Seawatts waiting. Great trade from a Slims. It's going to at least stop the plant there if you're St. Clair. But still a two on two. And the bomb now, respect here being shown by the Saints, is going to be planted. And they're going to have to play this a retake from both sides. Yeah, you could see KB could make his way in now. And it's also going to be Cootie. See if they decide to attack together. Push from both sides. That's going to be a nice shot there. KB does find the trade now. 1v1. He has no idea where this last member is. So it's going to be hard to win this challenge. There he is prone under there. I don't think KB has any idea. He's going to look for it. Whips out the SMG. Might tap the defuse. Goes for the swing. And it's another round two day by day. They play the post plant perfectly. And they take the 4-2 lead. Yeah, that's three rounds in a row for day by day. And it's very uncharacteristic from Reddit there. Just laying prone 
in a very aggressive yeah. spot behind the shelves and it's unfortunate when you have to play that 1v1 on a map like Rewind, especially when you're retaking A with how many spots there are that the defensive player or the offensive player can kind of sit and wait at. You have to clear so many angles and you know, for KP, you bring it into the 1v1, but that's a tough ask. And there's only so much you can read on the map in that moment. So day by day doing a good job at coming out to a lead here in map number two. And only a couple of rounds from evening us up here inside the series. But back onto the attack for the Saints. And it looks like Ace Limbs going to be slid on behind the bomb. It's Cootie to drop first blood. And it looks like the Saints looking to get the plant down. But a nice flank there. But it's going to be traded out. Saints have a 3v2 advantage. Plant should be going down in just a second. It's not going down just yet. But there's a nice trade. Rooper gets taken out. Makes their 2v2 situation. And Saints... Playing right on top of one another. They're going to go back towards that B site. I like this and call. And they've done this before. They're going to look to play yet again on the on the post plant. This is going to allow them to plant over towards the truck again. I was talking about how difficult this is to set up but or to take down. But it makes it even harder now that there's a trophy in play from Cootie. So, for day by day, they're just going to force the fight in towards the back alley. And Luan, see what's here. He's going to be able to Ooh. isolate some of these members. Good he kill. is traded out, but now it's Cootie in the best spot to put this one away. The tag's <laughs> in, the kill's through, and Saints keeping themselves in this. That was very, very close. Some shaky shots towards the end there, but get the one-on-one -on -one clutch. Cootie with nice shots there. Keep Saints in this map, but they've yet to get a defensive stop. What do you think is something they can do to really tie this game up? Uh, it's just like the same that we saw from day by day on their defensive round. It's you want to get aggressive in towards A, stop that pressure from the Saints, but you just don't want to allow, or sorry, stop the uh, the pressure from day by day, but you don't want to allow them to just get onto that point, get onto the site for free. So you need to start to see some of these players on the site be fight for that front line instead. It's another passive play from St. Clair. They're going to give up A with player number three already pushed up in towards blue, but they're Ooh, trusting Seawads here to get that first blood. He will, and he backs down. And he's going to find a second. Seawads might have made the round swinging play here for the Saints. Bomb is down as well, and there's a flank coming out from Rupert. He knows there's one coming through this doorway, and it's going to be an easy kill here for Rupert. Saints have a four-on-one as finally they look to take their first defensive round of the match. Kilkirk going to have a lot of work to do here with Bomb down and all four Saints alive. He needs to find a pick early on. 45 seconds and ticking. Going to look for it up mid there. KB going to take some shots. Is he able to stay alive but the kill does come through saints with a flawless defensive round tie this map up at four apiece and really it comes from the read there of saint Clair. the patience outside of a you set seawats up on the wall and instead of finding that first kill and immediately looking for the second you see seawats ducks off the wall regroups and goes back over for the second one you have that information from the player playing over towards the truck that there is another one there for you to fight so it's the teamwork there from st Clair that really shines and you know ruper not every day you're going to get into blue for free like you saw from ruper but the fact that he does just further gives the information to the rest of st Clair that day by day are making that play towards the outside yeah now it's going to be saints on the attack they find the opening pick kb Takes one down as Saints look to make their way into A. And there's going to be a second pick coming out for the Saints. A trade does come through, but a three on two advantage here. As they might look to push towards that B site yet again. They love this one. And it doesn't seem like day by day have had too much success of slowing them down. The plant is going to be looking to go down. And now it's going to be day by day forced to make the play to try and find the retake. Yeah, they lay the rock and they know Kobe's going to be on the flank. Kudi, or sorry, Ruper. Caught him on the stun, so both players have day by day. They're isolated, and they have to group up together. It's a three on two onto a bomb site that's not really easy to break. And with an AR in hand, you're going to take that first fight. Ace Slims Ooh. immediately dies, and Kobe, he didn't really have much else to do. He jumps onto that bomb, and St. Clair, they take him down. And not only that, they put their third round in a row on the board, now taking back their lead on Search and Destroy. 
Yeah, and it's going to be one defensive round here for the Saints to try and close out this map. Day by day, though, have been relatively good on their attack. They've been able to string some rounds together, but this is going to be a huge, huge round. Are the Saints going to get off to a hot start with the first pick? I mean, I think that's how you need to play this defense. If you go a member down, it just becomes way too hard. And it's going to be another A push from the look of things by day by day. They do have a player sitting all the way in spawn, but look at Rupert oh, just Rupert. sprinting through the middle of the map. Picks up one, is able to stay alive. Fancy feed, Wampo Combo. He does go down in the end, but still, it's a good start for the Saints on the defensive end. I might be sprinting. It looks like he's flying through the map. <laughs> Spread his wings and take flight there, Ruper. But it slows down to St. Clair immediately when Ruper doesn't get that second kill. Nobody there to follow it up. And for day by day, they don't even get on towards A just yet. Nobody from St. Clair oh. is going to try to fight them on A. And I think day by day are just continuing to burn this clock. Cootie slowly working oh. a flank in behind. And that's going to pay off for a kill to A Slims. Oh, KB is going to spot the player behind the car. Slides out. Pistol oh. in hands. But no day by day. They are still fighting back. Yeah, now it's going to be a 2v2. One member on this A side and another on the flank. Let's see how they decide to play this one. They're going to be going all the way around. Clerk in a huge position here. Can he find kill around this corner? And there's going to be the jump from Cootie. Turns to a 1v1. But now the Saints know exactly where the last member is. Not a lot of time left on the clock. It looks like the plant will be going down towards A, but needs to do it quickly. It doesn't look like Luan's going to rotate just yet, and plant is going to be going down. And as soon as you look over towards B, you know this if you're C was. So it's going to be confirmed with the plant. 1v1. St. Clair looking to put it away. Oh. They're going to meet each other towards the back door, it seems. A Slims slides on out. Both players spotted. See Watts with the AR, not the gun you want to take in this situation. And this is the right call for A-Slims. He repositions over onto the other side of the bomb. Oh, I don't know if Siwaz was able to spot him out there. He's going to be going around the outside. Both players know where one is. The attacking player just needs to stay alive here. That's a beautiful concuss. It's going to be a 1v1. Can Siwaz find the kill? Yes, he does. Does he have enough time to get to the bomb and find the defuse? Should have it with 10 seconds and ticking. It's going to be the Saints getting the sixth round of the map, taking the map home, and taking a 2-0 lead in the series. I don't want to be that guy, but day by day, kind of tossed that out the window with that play. Yeah. I have no idea what you're doing challenging an AR towards the streets like that. You know he has an AR as soon as you run. challenge him at the back door. Play the time. Play over towards the bookshelves. Force him into those close engagements. You had so many more options than just running outside yeah. and challenging that the way you did. Day by day had a real chance in that game. And I was impressed with what they were bringing towards the, this uh, search and destroy. The, the change of pace all the time. The pressure that they were applying through A to force those gunfights outside. And even the retakes that they were showing were very smart from day by day, very practiced, and I think that for this team, that was one of the best chances that they were going to have to take down Saints Green um, in this best of five, and losing that, it's got to hurt a little bit. Yeah, it's going to hurt a lot, and they had a 4-2 lead. I mean, they were playing flawlessly, but then Saints strung a couple rounds together, and you said some mistakes that maybe they'll look back at and they won't make again, but they made them this time, which kind of gave the Saints the win over there in the end, but it was that, that was a great map of Call of Duty. Was. I mean, both teams put on a show for us. Saints do come out victorious and are up 2 on the series and going to control. I think they're going to be feeling good about themselves. No, I, I totally agree, but for us, that's when we get ready for this map number 3 control. I think we're going to take a step back, a quick little break, and we'll be back with some more TXP4 with a control coming up soon. You're looking at red card around the corner.
with pool bay pool play coming to an end very soon for day by day in st Clair green this is where day by day needs to step up down 0-2 in this best of five to one of the best teams we're going to be seeing in uh txp4 day by day bring us to a red card control now to see if they can step up to St. Clair and prolong the series. And it's going to be Saints very, very quickly starting with three members on this B side. We talked about a couple couple apps ago. If teams start off and push towards this B side, I mean, it starts very rough for the defense and Saints going to be doing a great, great job. But the retake almost there for the side of day by day still. Saints trying to get as much progress on that B side, but on it, at the same time, they have also pressure on the A side. It's going to be only Cootie on the B side for now. I mean, the B zone gets secured. St. Clair do a good job at making sure that they can get the harder job done first. Yep. And, you know, to talk about red card when we are going over this control and how open it can be, this is where it's open. Yeah. This is where you're kind of looking at day by day to slow the roll, see if you can find some of these picks, get St. Clair on the respawn, and then set up in those power positions towards, you know, the top of their side. The top windows are on those planters. It's going to be difficult for sure for day by day. Not as easy as I make it sound, but it is doable. Yeah, it's doable, but it's going to be hard to do against the Saints who have full control of that side of the map. They're going to start getting progress on this A site. And you can see it's going to be day by day trying to go for a couple of flanks here, which could work out for them. A nice double kill there from a White Widow, but still Saints getting two ticks of progress now. Nice shots here coming out, but nice defense from day by day. They're able to hold on for a little bit longer, but with two ticks capped, it's going to be very hard for them to hold against the Saints. I agree. If they get it done... They have that break, that lapse now for you to get into those power positions. And you see that Reddit's already yeah. pu pushed so aggressive towards the spawn of St. Clair. They have the full spread over towards the A zone. And St. Clair making it quite difficult just to hold this. But they are holding it so far for day by day. You know that another player has slipped through. Cootie's going to be on the... Uh, it looks like he's going to be on the chase, but we have a player flanking here yeah. for St. Clair. It's Rupert's taking the deep flank through the spawn of Day by Day, and he's ready to just blow this up as soon as he gets a chance. And Cootie's going to find one. Rupert finds a second as now the kills come through. The flank is nice here from Rupert. There's a player right directly under him. Is not able to find that one, but the trade does come through. Still nice kills for Day by Day. They get a 3 spree. Only Cootie left up in the zone as it's going to be Killcrick still staying on this site, denying Saints all the way pushing deep into the spawn yeah. again the more kills he gets on this side of the map the more benefit is for day by day is on a day attacking side you definitely need to get the push going yeah now with that st Clair have no idea he's back there so a couple kills more for day by day you have some streaks coming through so hopefully able to get the kill streaks and you have the time dwindling day by day maybe some less lives but as long as they can prolong this st Clair should struggle you still got cootie all the way deep in your spawn but you're still trying to race to this point with only 13 seconds left St. Clair they need to jump on and they finally are able to do so they finally get one player there is a flank coming through though from Pele there can he find any kills there's gonna be a nice kill on to Rupert Cootie finds a trade only five seconds remaining no respawns remaining for the side of day by day three seconds and ticking can Saints get back onto the site doesn't look like that's gonna be the case in the first round goes over to day by day after a shaky start giving up that B site the fact that they're able to hold on to that A site speaks wonders to what they just did and I know it's hard to tell from us on the desk with the Codcaster that Control is giving us, but I'd put that in the range of maybe five se five segments gained, maybe four segments gained. Yeah, somewhere I know there was some progress at the A zone. The B zone was fully captured. Saint Clair came out with fire in this map number three, probably because of what they just did in map two <laughs> yeah. and one. But for day by day to kind of recover the way that they did, that is some signs of life that we are looking for in this map number three. And you can really think, you know, White Widow for that one and Pele especially for pushing as aggressive as they did into St. Clair spawn. So now for day by day, this is the hard part. Swapping yeah. onto the control and trying to copy, at least mirror some semblance of what St. Clair did to them. And that's taking the B zone. Yeah, I mean, you can see they're going to be pushing towards this B zone, but instantly there's a kill going over to the Saints and it's going to be all green in the kill feed. A failed first push towards this B site is going to be a bit dangerous. There's 
still a player alive here. It's going to be Reddit going down. A nice start for the Saints as they able to hold on initially. It would have been nice there if Pele could find one, maybe two kills to stop the spawn trap. But Oof. off the raid break, day by day, make it away. They don't allow St. Clair to just continue to tear through their numbers. And that's going to force them outside. Over towards the street side, towards the A zone. Luan, Seawads, he's going to be here to hopefully play frontline for the rest of the Saints. And... I think for the biggest struggle here from day by day is just making it over the halfway marker of this map. Yeah, day by day struggling right now, but they're able to find some kills. There is a huge flank coming out from KB though, and that's going to be a nice flank if he can get at least one kill from that position. Gets it. There is a trade in the middle, but it's going to be a final desperation B push coming out from the side of day by day. But a nice shot there from my widow is going to give them some room to work with. They get into the B side and they start capturing, but this flank from Rupert could be huge. Finds one, is almost able to find a second, picks it up through the wall, and with 10 seconds and ticking, it's all up to... Pele here, Reddit gonna get onto the side, gets taken down. That's gonna be the round going over to St. Clair College as they play a flawless defense. That's so difficult for day by day. You finally make it to B, and Rupert is flanking you, <laughs> of course. It would have been such a difference if somebody from day by day just was there to watch the flank, and maybe it's just some communication, some moments there from day by day where they're just missing that setup, and you know, one person's lagging a little bit further behind, allows for St. Clair to get that timing on the flank and Rupert kind of saves the day there. Not allowing Day by Day to get that set up over towards B. Uh, a valiant effort from Day by Day to try to approach that, but I think St. Clair just outslang them in those moments on the defense and it is a very different defense that we saw from St. Clair in comparison to day by day. They don't allow them to get any progress in those zones. Absolutely. And now it's going to be Saints on the attack again. Let's see if they decide to push through that B side and brute force it. Or if they're going to go for a bit of a slower push. Try and take that A side because they struggled with it last time. And this time, day by day are ready. A quick pick onto Kui is going to slow down Saints progress. But a trade here looking to come out. Rum as he was, isn't going to be able to find it, gets shot on the side. It's a good defensive start for day by day as they get a lot of map pressure and get into some good positions. It's going to be KB though on the flip side starting this capture for the Saints on the A side. The trophy system comes down, but it's a huge flank from day by day. Kill three road. members coming here, but the trades aren't there. Saints find all three. It's only going to be one member in the back. East Limbs gets taken down. That's a clean wipe for the Saints as they look to take the A side. It's a clean wipe. It's a stack. This A zone should be gone. And you can see that day by day in reaction they're just trying to spread out on every other facet of the map you push through mid you stack over towards b and any exit you find on the, from this a zone that is a win in the books of day by day i'd feel yes you've lost a but this round is nowhere close to being finished so it's now picking yourselves up at the bootstrap seeing if you can grind through this one yet again yeah, they I mean they did it last time. They were able to hold on. Now they, they're gonna have all the pressure coming at them. Rupert spots one out, isn't able to find the kill. Let's see if Saints decide to put in some deep, deep flankers like they did last time. See what's gonna find the opening pick onto this B side. Is gonna be able to find the second. That's a start for the Saints as they look to get onto the side. One more swing is gonna come through. Gets the kill. Kill crook. Kuri needs to find this kill up. Saints want to continue their progress here. Doesn't get take. Doesn't find it though. But the trade comes out from KB. Saints trying to get onto the side. Some flanks gonna come out from day by day by Saints keeping it rolling. And you see day by day, they're spawning quite considerably far away from the zone for St. Clair. They just continue to throw bodies at this, stack this out, and gain some pressure and progression, sorry, at this control zone. Rupert watching around it. He's on seven in a row with a jackal in his back pocket and Amos at the helm. St. Clair seeming like they can do anything right now on red card as they go up two to one on this map and they are aiming to take this series in a sweep. Yeah, and now it's going to be Saints on the defense. De definitely more favored side as they look to close out the series on this map. I mean, that was just a great round from them, but ne now it's going to be day by day needing to fight back. They need to get an attack off, uh, uh, attack off themselves. They have gone for a couple starts in the last few attacks and just hasn't worked out this time. Looks like they're going to be putting all their cookies in one basket. They're going to be pushing towards that A site, but Saints have three members ready to defend. A nice quick move up the middle for, for 
Who on there looking for something, but no. Saints just gonna back up, take their time as day by day aren't making too much progress. Huge flank though from Cootie is gonna find one kill. Yeah, Cootie is going to spell some trouble here and distract for the rest of them. Rupert, a second one, and this is time to pounce with St. Clair. They jump right out to action and they wipe away day by day off the respawn again, stuck further and further back into the map. And Luan now just looking to punish a couple more. Fortunately for Day by Day, and Nade is going to take Seawads away from that forward pressure and kill Rook a second one. So you're working through this, but you still have more Saints. Cootie's on a flank yet again. KB just runs it right down the <laughs> middle, and nobody's watching for this one. Aslims gets the trade, but it's just more time off the clock for Day by Day. And there's going to be a huge flank coming out there for the side of the Seawads. Is able to find a couple and stops the push of Day by Day and still deep in enemy territory. I mean, we've seen this position from Day by Day in round one. Ultimate Saints, but it's on the B side. Somehow, Day by Day have snuck their way in. They're going to start progress on that B side. You're going to see Saints. They've pushed deep into enemy territory, but they don't have too much to defend. A nice flank from Rupert gets taken down, however. And if they're not careful, you're going to find yourself getting caught from some of these members. Ooh. Void's going to be found out. That's KB getting dropped and three down for St. Clair. Day by day, have the B zone stacked. And A Slims is working at A as well. He's going to be the first process for St. Clair to kill your things out. They want to push towards the outside, reclaim some space. You give up B, that's fine. You have more ticks. You solidified that round five defense if we go that far. You just need to make sure that day by day don't take this offense. Yeah, and there's going to be a couple kills coming out from Kudi and the KB. Kudi going to slide through. Isn't going to be able to find that kill though so it's going to be day by day with a little bit of room to work with but nice kill there comes out from a seawaz trophy comes out from pele tries to go on at the flank you're just sitting under this point but saints finding kills left and right rupert and kb able to find a couple there's gonna be a flank here coming out from kb trying to get a nice position here you can see pele has been on this po uh, next to the site for quite some time hasn't touched down because the rest of his team is kind of struggling to get the power positions around him as saints have a couple members deep in enemy territory and this can be an easy kill coming out from KB up with this AR. I mean, day by day, only have 40 seconds to make something happen. 40 seconds and counting. The C wants he's set up onto A as well, and you still see that Rupert is being quite the issue alongside Cootie. Couple shaky shots there, and maybe this is a way out for day by day, but again, like you said, Theo, you're fighting against the clock right now if you're day by day, and that's the hard part. You still have Seawoods on that zone, and nobody's touching on towards this objective. It's 10 versus 10, and you know that there's some players missing. You need to make a play for the zone eventually. Yeah, and they're going to be able to get on it, but Kuri with a huge double kill. It's going to be one more member left alive. Going to get taken down. Now it's going to be hard for Day by Day to get anywhere near the point. With the clock ticking down, we're three seconds away from taking it. And St. Clair Saints are going to take this series 3-0, take the control 3-1, to one, and a very, very good performance from them. And yeah, not only that, St. Clair, they come out with some heat here in their pools. Flawless against the rest of the teams that they've played, and that tops them heading into the bracket for later on today and tomorrow. That is a good showing from St. Clair. A little bit of a lapse in map number two that I'm sure you and I are going to highlight, yeah. but for maps one and three, it's a masterclass from the Saints green roster that is just looking so, so good in the response. Yeah, I mean, that's what I predicted before this year. The response is their bread and butter, and they showed us exactly why that's the case. And, you know, Search and Destroy, I wouldn't say they even necessarily played poorly. I mean, their opponents did a great job on that map of finding every, every single advantage they could. But still, Saints came out on top. They show their veteran leadership in their team, and they're able to take the 3 0 home. Yeah, and for us here on the desk, I mean, that is just uh, one way to top off the day. I'm sure you're happy as a, a Saints <laughs> student that to see them come out with a win here. And uh, I think for Saints Green, it's kind of what we expect for them, a 3-0 versus day-by-day. Day. I like that you're saying we got to give some respect over towards day-by-day. Day. They did step up in that map number two. I think I was really impressed with the way that Kobe was playing, the way that Killrook was playing. It just seemed like in a lot of those engagements, when it got messy, when it got chaotic they were trying to match St. Clair and I liked it more when they were trying to play their own game play yeah. patiently draw out the Saints look for those mistakes and punish them and you saw for day by day they were doing that in most of the rounds trying to spread the map out you 
always had one player trying to hit the flank over towards the streets. And you can see those ideas are something that I want to see blossom into day two or the rest of day one for yep. the matches that day by day have. This is a team that is strong at the core. And I, I know that they can be, you know, fight up towards the St. Clair Green team. And I, I want to see that happen. Yeah, you know, action's still not done for today. Even after a tough loss day by day, still have a series to play. Saints Green still have a series to play. So they will finish out day one today. But tomorrow is kind of the big, big day. Tomorrow we're going to see all the big dogs hitting it off in, in the knockout stage. And I know you're excited. I'm excited as well. But for here on the desk, it seems like it's time to close things out and say goodbye to the players on the main stage. There are going to be a couple more matches played on side stations. So pay attention to the bracket for TXP4. Pay attention to the Twitter for TXP as well. It's going to be at Toronto XP that you're going to be looking for as you get all the updates for the rest of day one. Tomorrow, day two, the bracket and the finale is going to begin at 11 a.m. sharp, everybody. So tune in for some more action here at the St. Clair Esports Nexus Center. My name is Seymour. With me is Theo. We're signing off. We'll see you tomorrow.